Hey everybody, welcome back. POA. Um, we're gonna, man, these, these are so fun to do. <sighs> Anyways, we are doing a double masters battle. So how this works is that we're gonna have six patrons here and each one's gonna get four packs out of the double masters box here. And then we're gonna add up the total casting cost, or mana value, of their rares and mythics. And whoever has the highest total is going to win the box stopper and whoever has the lowest total is going to win a couple Kamigawa collector's packs. So that is how this one is going to go. So let's pop this open. Let's shuffle some packs. Let's divvy them out. Let's see how we do. God, I love this product so much. Anyway, it's not something we can do all the time, of course. It's just not a cheap product. It is getting up there to the price of like an old booster box. Okay, we got the, it's in good shape. Good, good. Put that on side. All right. So I'm going to do a little shuffle -roo. Yeah, it's going to be sloppy at first. Okay. Even that out, and I still couldn't do that. All right, give me a second here. Folks having uh, difficulties here. Here we go. All right, that's probably good. All right, there we go. So we got Orion, four packs for you. Robert, four packs for you. Your first battle. Greg, <laughs> no question that you're in this one, huh? <laughs> All right, we got John, four packs for you. Jacob. And that is a Z, not a two. Four packs for you. And Vera, four packs for you. There we go. All right. So that's the, turn, that's the deal. That's how this works. <clears throat> so we're going to see how we do. Good luck, everybody. Let's open some double masters. Okay, first pack, Orion. Here we go. So we're going to do this with in three rounds. The first round is two packs. So Core Tapper, the Treasure Mage, the Yavimaya's Embrace... Ravenous Trap for a 4. And Austere Command for a 6. Remember the Fallen? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Our first foil rare, and it's one of the better ones you can get. It does have a little print line. I don't know if it's picking it up. A little bit of a print line. But, but still, Orion, a foil exploration. Sheesh. Uh... Awesome hit right off the bat. Okay, so is that an 11? Just want to double check. That is, in fact, an 11. And you know what? I left the sleeve sitting over there, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> uh, I'll sleeve it up after. Okay. Second pack for Orion. I'm kind of, like, trapped in my little corner over here, so I'm not going to move everything out of my way. Oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Hinder, hidden stockpile, thirst for knowledge. Ooh, Blood Moon. Okay. Great pull. Has been definitely climbing. And we got the Mirror Battle Spear, which, in terms of the battle, is not a terrible second hit in that pack. The Cloud Sphinx. Hey, and a Foil Pongify. Can't discount that. So that is a 10 in that pack. So that puts Ryan at a 21 to start. Okay, Robert, your first pack. Buried Ruin, Trash for Treasure, the Ovuleti, Chrome freaking Mox. That's what we're talking about. Chrome Mox counts for a zero. And a Baleful Strix, which is not a bad pull in its own right. Relic Runner, and a Foil Cast Down. Oh, Crow Mox. So we got our first Mythic out of the box. And you only had a two in that pack. Okay, second pack, Robert. Expedition Map. Crop Rotation. Dread Return. Top of the Statue. Phyrexian Revoker. That is a two. And a Flight Steel Colossus! Oh, sheesh! <laughs> oh, it, it, awesome hit and a giant casting cost. 
Surge node and and a foil toxic. What a box! A foil toxic deluge. Sheesh! Holy crap! What a pack! Oh, uh, what do you got? A fourteen? I can't be mad. I can't even add right now. What, what is that? A seventeen? Is that a seventeen? Yeah, it's a seventeen. A foil toxic deluge and a blight steel colossus. Oh man! All right. Well, uh, is that is that new guy luck? Is that what that is? Is that that was a seventeen? Okay. All right. Put you at a nineteen, Robert. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, Greg, you're up. <clears throat> That's two mythics pulled, just for keeping track. And two awesome. That might be it for foil rares. And we had two awesome foil rare hits. It, I've opened a lot of these boxes. That's not common. <clears throat> I mean, there's there's a there's a lot of rares in this set, and most of them do not go for. Anyway, Metamorphos, Assault Monolith. Okay, a couple good uncommons. The Mesmeric Orb for a two, decent pull. Come on, Magus of the Will. Not what you're looking for, but that is a five. Apprentice Wizard and Chromatic Star. So five to start for Greg. Second pack for Greg. So yeah, so we're going to do two packs in this first round, obviously, like we're doing right now. And then we're going to do two rounds of one pack just to see where we sit. Expedition Map. Drum, Stance, Drown in Sorrow, Fulminator Mage. And Brutaclad. So that is a nine. Lightning Axe and Death Hood Cobra. So that is a nine in that pack. That is a pretty low total casting cost for Greg. That is a 14 in your first two. Okay, John, you are up. There's this tower. Sphinx Summoner, Lightning Greaves, there we go. Glass Dust Hulk and a Thought Seize to start us off. Great rare pull. That is a one. And Eryxmatis, is that it? Is it? Yeah. Slumbering Isle, okay. That is a five. Frogify and a Metal Spinner's put uh, Puzzle Nut. So you got a five in that pack, John, with the Thought Seize. Nice pull. Your second pack. Okay, here we go. Intruder, Fatal Push. Here we go, getting all the good uncommons. Death Reef Ritual and Snaring Bridge for our third mythic of the box. And it's a three. And Avenger of Zendikar for a beefy seven. Good card. Um, yes, it is one of the lower ranked, but in terms of the lower ranked mythics, still a decent pull. Hopefully it's the lowest ranked mythic. So what is that? A 10 so far? Dire Fleet and Eager Construct. So that was a two mythic pack. So John, you were at a 15. So keeping track, that is four mythics so far. Yeah, I'd much rather pull Avenger of Zendikar than uh, say a Geth. Or uh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? The Geist of St. Trath, actually. That could still be on the table, couldn't it? Probably should knock on wood right now. My table's wood, there we go. Payne Smith, Gollum Artisan, Woodland Champion, Brea. There's our fifth mythic. Not too shabby, Jacob. Not too shabby. Build, build around that one. And then we got Blink Mox, Moth Nexus. Cool. That's a decent little pack right there. Ancient Stirring's Foil. And that counted as a four. All right. So that is five mythics already. Obviously, we shuffled the packs, right? So either we're going to have a giant mythic count... Or, there's only one or two Mythics left in all these packs. Where's this mine? Invigorate, Rampager, Skull Muncher, Liege of the Tangle for that giant eight. Kemba, not the pull you're looking for. Um, so that is an 11, Fortify, and Foils or Foil Urza's Tower. So you got an 11 in that pack. I'm going to put the Borea back on top here. By the way, ties will be determined based off whoever has the highest casting cost mythic. Then if that doesn't determine it, whoever has the highest casting cost rare. 
Okay, Vera, your first pick. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Hex Mage, Thopter Foundry, Rush of Knowledge, Sword of the Meek. That's a two. Lux Cannon. That's a six in total. Parasitic Strix and Chatter of the Squirrels. So a six in your first pack. All right, pack number two. But even if a lot of the Mythics are taken, there's still a lot of amazing rares in this set, so we'll see how we do from this point forward. Versus Tower. Throne of Geth. Disciple of the Vault. Pentad Prism. Kragenwick Cremator. So that is a four. So straight things. Sculpting Steel. Okay, solid card. That is a seven. And nothing to dismantle. Okay. So that is a seven in that pack. Which is actually, really? That's pretty low. Wow. All right. After the first round, Orion's in the high at a 20. 21. Apologize. Robert's at a 19. Greg's at a 14. John and Jacob are both at a 15. And Vera's in the low at a 13. Next round, Orion, first pack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Bloodshot Trainee, Calming Dies, Joris Familiar, Vish Cal Blood Arbiter for that big old seven. And a no and a Pam. And we got ourselves a Pam. Alright, and that is an eight. Skin wing and a throne of geth foil. So that is an eight in that pack, Orion. You're getting just you're just collecting good rares. So you're at a 29 now. Hey okay, Robert, your next pack. Oops. Trower, Citadel, Galvanic Blast, Onaganata, Ratchet Bomb for your two. Oops. And big old Bosch. Usually you don't want to pull Bosch, but when you're in a battle, you don't mind pulling a Bosch. All right, so that is a 10 so far. And Ash Barons. Oh my god, that Blight Steel. That is, that is bananas. That was a banana's pack. So you are also at a 29, Robert. Okay, Greg. If, if, if Robert ends up tied with anybody, like, he wins. There's, I think there's only one card in the set that tops that. Well, actually, let's see if we pull that card. All right, Greg, let's do this. Brainstorm. Treasure Keeper. Chief of the Foundry. Flicker Wisp. Which is back again, appears in uh, Double Masters 2022. Time Sieve, which went up a lot. Okay, good pull. And the Terastodon. Once again, not generally the kind of card you want to pull, but in terms of a battle, that is an 8, so that is a 10 for that pack. Throbbing Inspector. And a Yavimaya's Embrace Foil. So that is a 24 for Greg. John, let's do your next pack. Sentinel, Fetter Explorer, Dread Return. All right, our first filter land. We got the Fetid Heath. Greater Good. So, like, that's just, like, two solid rares, right? Great Evidence Intruder. Hey, a Foil Basalt Monolith. There we go. But that counts as a four. Wow. Low Casting Cost City there. So, you're at a 19, John. Okay, Jacob. Here we go. Days, License Disintegration. It should be a License Disintegration. Kalia! So there is our sixth Mythic. So Jacob, you're just... Wait a minute. Jacob, you need this card. <laughs> <laughs> the things that happen when you play games with your patrons, you learn things. Congratulations, Jacob. <laughs> you got yourself a Kalia. <clears throat> and then we got Reese the Redeemed. So you're at a low five. Battle Rattle and Executioner's Capsule. Okay, you're at a 20, Jacob. All right, Vera. Let's, let's pull Vera something, huh? Let's get something here. 
Go to Geth, Pongify. Hey, Pongify and Path to Exile. That's a couple nice and commons. Wound Reflection, which is not bad. Not bad, and it's a six. Blood Sprore, Thrinax. Ah, not what we're looking for here. That is a 10, though. Sift and a Tumble Magnet. So that puts you at a 23. All right. Orion and Robert are tied for the high with a 29. Greg's at a 24. John's in the low at a 19. Jacob's at a 20. And Vera's at a 23. This is definitely coming down to the last round. This is why we do it this way, folks. <clears throat> Orion. Here we go. The last pack. Okay. Oop. Our braid. Oriox Salvagers. Master Splicer. Cogwork Assembler. High Market. That is not what you're looking for. Oh, and a Godo. Well, that is that is a six to go with that, that zero. Revoke Assistance and Elvish Aberration. Okay. This got... Man, this got, this got crazy. All right, that was a six, Orion. So you're at a 35. Robert, your last pack. And Greg and Vera are not out of it. Not in this set, anyway. Oh, there we go. Mizra's Bobble. Very good. Very good, Robert. Jeez, Robert. What are you doing? You are... Sphinx. Rugged Prairie for the filter. Okay. Scurs Dead. Oh, my God. That was a two. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Oh, well. That was the excitement going into this. All right. And Mirror Retriever. A two. Fortunately, Robert, you are not in the high. I don't think you're complaining too much about what you're taking home, though. So you finished at a 31. All right, Greg. And right now, Orion's just holding on tight. So Orion, again, he's, Orion is at a 35. Greg is at a 24. Here we go, Greg, your last pack. Let's at least find Greg something awesome. Is it Charm, Dismantle, Reclamation, Sage, Well of Ideas? Well, that is a big old six. Okay. Oh, we do have a mid... Wait, don't tell me that was what I freaking thought it was. I told you I didn't want that! No! Well, it is a seventh Mythic for the box. <clears throat> it is Mythic number seven officially, which is above average. All right, so that is a... Is that a nine... All right, Twisted Abomination and a Treasure Keeper. Well, you finished at a 33, Greg. Okay, John. So, John, you're at a 19 right now. What are you going to do? How is this going to work? Sphinx, Banshee, and open the vaults for a six. Not the card you are looking for. Straighten piles really quick. There we go. Oh, and a Kaldortha Forge Master. Cool card. Nasa. There we go. Okay. Yeah, all right. My camera is losing its mind here. There we go. So that is an 11. Sphinx. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, we find ourselves a foil mythic. That does not happen every day. And, and a good one at that. Lantex. Fantastic. So that is a 12. John, that is a 12. For somebody in the low, though, that's not what you're looking for. What's, what does that put you at? That puts you at a 31 currently tied with Robert for the low somehow. The masters, folks. Battles are crazy. All right, Jacob. So Jacob's at a 20. Play next. Uh, I don't know why I said that out loud. Because I'm just talking to fill time. Okay, Real Smith, uh, Sandstone Oracle, Brimstone Valley, Graven Cairns. Which, for somebody that's actually going for the low right now, that is a good pull. And, and frankly, it is generally a good pull. All right. So, 
What do you have? What do you have next? You have Grand Architect. You are at a three so far, a foil braid, in an Urza's power plant. Well, I actually think that does it. Yeah, uh, unless unless Vera has an all land pack. Oh, I'm gonna get to that in a second. We just put Kalia back on top. So Jacob is at a twenty three. All right, Vera, you're also at a 23. Let's get your last pack. There we go. Master Splicer, Kadolfa Flame Fiend. Enlarge. Oh, 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 wait a minute. You could actually be going for the high right now with that pull. That is a blasphemous act with its giant nine. And you have another mythic. How many mythics is that? That's nine mythics, including the foil mythic. Holy crap. It is Skittles. I kind of already saw where it said Skidrix. Skittles. Oh my. I think this just came down to the last pack. I think that just that's 14. Tumble Magnet. Hey, and a foil fatal push. That's actually pretty sweet. That is a is that that is a fourteen. Did Vera sneak up and steal this? She did. She did sneak up and steal this. Holy crap! You know what? I think this one requires a double count. God, those ones really hurt you, Orion. <laughs> well, I guess the foil one doesn't. Yeah, 35. Okay, Vera. Thirty-seven. We have a winner. Well, final totals. Orion, you finished at a thirty-five. Robert, thirty-one. Greg, thirty-three. By the way, Greg gets the womp womp of the video, unfortunately. Somebody, somebody was going to. John gets a 31. Jacob gets a 23 and is in the low. So we got his Kamigawa collector packs here. And then Vera finished in the high at a 37. Man, for not pulling a crit or a force of will, this was a fantastic box. Absolutely spectacular box. Okay, Jacob, let's get into your two county packs. Oh, that's right, they're county packs. Uh, it was so nice opening Double Masters packs. It can actually be opened. Okay. All right, here we go. So commons, uncommons, land. Then you get your samurais and ninjas. In Invoke Despair, the Ocean of Cryptic Dreams. The March of Wretched Heart. Okay, we can do better than those. The reality chip. Okay, that's better. That's better. And a tribute to Hirobi, which I believe is the, yep, that is the showcase. All right, we can do better than that one. Let's do it better. All right, come on, one more pack. Best land cycle ever, or basic land cycle. Ah, ha, ha! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wandering Emperor. In your face. Okay. Imposter mech. I'm putting it there so I can sleep it. Light pause. Cool. Actually, is there something cool back there? Invoke calamity. Not as cool. No. Uh, Hayatsugu in the extended art foil, but still. Wandering emperor foil. Nice pull. Okay. Vera. There we go. It's for all the marbles. Congratulations. That was a crazy, crazy win. I honestly didn't even expect it. Then you pull a Blasphemous Act and you're just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How far are you? Oh my god. Okay. First one is always... I know people have said the first one can be a mythic, but I still have never seen it on video. Ah, and I wanted to say that out loud to make it happen. But still, a Toxic Deluge. I'm getting all, you know, into my thing here, but that's... That's a great first hit. That is a spectacular first hit, actually. All right. 
Mythic, mythic, mythic. No, it is not a mythic. It is a rare. But that's okay. That's okay. Here we go. Phyrexian Metamorph, which I still think is one of the coolest pieces of artwork in the set. I think that looks awesome. Obviously, it is not one of the bigger hits. But overall, Toxic Deluge is a fantastic pull. There we go. Well, that was a fun one, folks. I hope everybody agrees. Um, congratulations to everybody, unfortunately. I've seen the chat for Greg. Um, it was gonna, again, it always happens to somebody. It, it, it is always going to happen. Um, but there was a lot of good stuff that went out to a lot of people in that, and that's always fun to watch to me, and it's always enjoyable to open. Um, and Robert, that pack was crazy. Well, I think I'm going to call that a video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Big thanks to my patrons uh, for participating in such shenanigans. Um, I know it's not always easy to let some idiot on the internet open packs for you, and I appreciate it. So until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. Till then.